Welcome back to the Coliseum. I'm your host, Doom Lord, and today we're, we have a fight between the speedsters. Sans and Papyrus are going to take on Sonic and Tails. Now, to make this as fair as possible, Sonic and Tails will not be able to use any of their super forms, and Tails won't be able to use any of his gadgets and tech. This will be gladiator style to make this as fair as possible. So let's have the sixth round of fighters begin now. Let's start off with the Undertale. Now, for Team Undertale, we are going to have Sans and Papyrus. Let's start off with Sans. Sans is the older brother of Papyrus. He may be small, but he's no pushover. Sans has Bone Manipulation and Gaster Blast. These things devastate the victim. Also, he has an ability called, called Karmic Retribution. This thing literally takes away invincibility strength and heal abilities. Like, for example, if Sans uses it on Superman, Superman will not be invulnerable to all the attacks. Sans' greatest weakness is his durability. He has 1 HP, but even though he does have determination to survive a little longer. Now let's discuss Papyrus. Papyrus is the younger brother of Sans, but he's no pushover too. He has bone he also has bone manipulation and does more damage to Sans. He's not as fast, but he should be somewhere near that. So he should be near the speed of sound. One thing that's wrong with Papyrus is he's not very smart and can be tricked easily. Also, neither Sans and Papyrus can take out a normal kid without having to use a trick shot. And by that, I meant go for a low blow. But still, these guys are very powerful. All they just have to do is use speed attacks and hope they get the kill. One more thing about the Karma Retribution. It does not really work for any good guys. That means the more bad you are, the more damage you're going to take. But the more good you are, you won't take that much damage. Also, it doesn't do poison damage to good people, but it does poison damage to bad people. Which will be very bad if you're a bad guy. Also, Papyrus' attacks aren't fast, so that means you can easily dodge over them. And once you decapitate Papyrus, he dies instantly. One thing to know about Sans is he does have determination to move on even if he gets hit. Overall, Sans and Papyrus are very skilled warriors who can hit their enemy souls, making them dead. From bones to fur, let's discuss Sonic and Tails. Now, Sonic is a blue hedgehog who can move the speed of sound. He's very skilled in destroying machines and is very good at destroying robots. His experience is large. Almost every week he has to fight robot army from Eggman. He even had to face some invincible people. Now, one thing that Sonic's not very good at is his patience. He's very unpatient and can get bored easily, making him very untrustworthy. Also, let's talk about Tails. Tail is just as not as fast as Sonic, but somewhere near that, so he's close to the speed of sound. He also has his spin dash attack that helps that he and Sonic could do. And Tails is very smart, so he has several machines. But to make this fair, we don't give Sonic or Tails Chaos Emeralds, and Tails won't be able to use any of that special machinery, because this will be fair. But we will give Tails one of his most used machinery, and that is his wrench. <laughs> anyway, one of Tails' weaknesses is that he's still a kid and he can still get get scared from easy things and he's a good team fighter these both these two work together as a lot so they're very good at teamwork 
So these guys are very good with teamwork, and they one of them is, has an IQ of three hundred. What is the possible way that Sans and Papyrus could beat them? I don't know, but we'll find out when the simulation will begin, and that's gonna begin in the next three seconds. Let the battle begin! And the winners are Sonic and Tails. Now, if there's gonna be any mad Undertale fans, please let me explain. The reason why Sonic and Tails beat Sans and Papyrus is because so San Sonic and Tails are much more faster than Sans and Papyrus and are more experienced. These guys don't really get in that much action, so they have less experience. Well, Sonic and Tails are in action almost every week. Also, the quick thing that Sans will get tired eventually. Well, so Sonic can run for many days and or days and weeks without tire. Also, Tails is much more smarter than Papyrus, so he will have an easy way to trick him. So, the winners of the fight is Sonic and Tails. Now, since there's going to be angry Undertale fans, and I don't want to get a dislike, let's do it. Let's make this fair. So, let's have a three-on-one. If you want to see a three-on-one fight between Sans, Papyrus, and Undying, take on Knuckles, because Knuckles is less than a speed of sound, and he has good strength and dumb intellect, this will be a very fair fight, then all you have to do is like my video. If this video gets 5,000 likes, there will be a 3 on 1 fight. Also, one thing to know that the next fighters is going to be exploding TNT taking on Pink Sheep, so put in the comments who you will think to win.